this is a Ram ProMaster with a security gateway module. We're going to be programming a new key to this vehicle using the smart box and the security gateway bypass cable. Where you're going to want to plug in at is right next to the glove box behind the panel here. There's going to be four screws you need to take out. If you get this piece of rubber out of the way here, there's three of the screws right here. And then the other one is up in this corner right there. Now these are Torx screws. It's going to be a size T25 Torx wrench. So we'll take out these four screws real quick and then I'll show you how to pop the panel down. Alright, I got our screws out here. So we're really just going to pop the panel straight out here. You just kind of pull it and pop it out. Hold on a second. Alright, All right, just pull it straight out. It pops out from right here and up here. And then once you got it popped out, right behind it, right here, this is our gateway module. It's got two clips in the bottom, or wires. You're going to want to take off the one that's closest to you, closest to the passenger side of the vehicle here. On the top of it, there's a little release latch. You just push down on the top, and then you slide your clip out. On the back side of this clip here, you're going to notice there's two green wires and two brown wires. So what you want to do is the two the green and the brown that are more in the middle are not the lines you're looking for. You're looking for the green and the brown that are more towards the side here. So not these two in the middle, but these two over to the side. Um, we're going to go ahead and plug in our bypass cable there. The green is going to be the CAN H and the brown is going to be the CAN L. So I'm going to go ahead and slide those in real quick. Alright, I got these wires plugged in. Uh, can H to the green and can L to the brown and once again not the two that are more in the middle the two that are over to the side can H is green can L is brown once you got your wires plugged in there you just want to slide them down in next to the existing wire as far down as it'll go make sure you're getting a good connection and then you're gonna want to plug it back into the module here so just go ahead and snap it back into the bottom with your wires still connected. Alright, and then we're going to go plug in over on the other side with the smart box. So we'll take our bypass cable and we'll plug it into the vehicle's OBD2 port right here. Alright, and then the smart box OBD cable will plug into the other OBD adapter right here. And now you can go ahead and open up your tablet and open the application and get logged in. And then we can start programming. Okay, we're all logged in now. We're going to be using preferred option CJDAP15. Alright, first we're going to use read pin slash precode key. Uh, you can use any key to turn it on at this point. I'm just going to use a new one. Alright, there's our pin code and CS code. You may need to remember the pin code. Ours is 51464. Yes, we need to pre-code our key. So I chose on that last screen, I chose 7946 because I am doing a remote key. If you were doing a non-remote key, you would choose 7936. So I can take a key out of the ignition. We're going to put it into the Smartbox chip reader. Alright, pre-coding is successful. Complete. Alright, now we're going to click on Program Keys. All right, turn ignition in the on position. You can use any key at this point. Now, we will have to reprogram all our keys to this vehicle. This one actually happens to have four already. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with one of these keys. 
turn it on since we need to reprogram all of them. Alright, we'll type in our PIN code. This vehicle was 51464. All right. Yeah, and you will need all keys to be reprogrammed in this cycle. Any keys that are not reprogrammed in a cycle will never be able to be programmed in the vehicle again. Um, so you need to make sure that you do them all every time you go through the procedure. All right, yes, we want to do another one. Take this one out. You can do your keys in any order. If you, if you have existing ones, you could do your new key first. But I'm just getting all the originals out of the way. Key number three. Key number four. Right now we're going to be doing our new key. That was all of our keys, so no. Alright, so when you program remote keys, occasionally you will need to turn the ignition on with each key before the remote will function. So we'll go ahead and do that in a second. We're just going to back out of programming. Alright. Let's make sure we turn on this one one more time. And our security light is staying off. I'm not sure if you can hear the clicking there, but this remote is working. Let's start the engine. All right, and our engine is running. So we're all done with programming. Now I'm just gonna show you how to put the vehicle back together and we'll be all done. All right, we're done programming. You're just gonna, you can just reach down and pull your wires straight down and out of the hub there. You can, Leave that plugged in, it should stay, still be good. Alright, now to get this back together, you're really just going to need to line up a few of the holes. You can line this part up with up here, and this part up with right down here. And then these got clips that go into the back here too. So we just got to get it lifted up back into the right position. It's kind of hard to do with one hand here, sorry about that. All right, I might need to get a little closer with two hands. I'm gonna set the phone down real quick. All right, the trick is really just to get this part up and over the lip. That's why I needed two hands, but once you got it most of the way, like I said, you're just gonna to wanna to line up these holes here, and snap them in. Same in the back, you just push them in to the holes that they were clicked into. Make sure this one is clicked in. And then we'll just put our four screws back in and we'll be ready to go.